What's up, Photox? This is Chris Porter with you, Sucky Photography. Today, I'm about halfway through sorting through some images um, that I did of a photo shoot. And I was just thinking, I said, like, you know what? I need to share this with my people and let them know why I use Lightroom instead of Bridge. Because a friend of mine, me and a friend were having a conversation the other day. He was asking me, why do I use Lightroom instead of Bridge? So, uh, it's really a simple answer one word quick corrections anyway you can go through Photoshop or you can go through Lightroom instead of Photoshop instead of bridge and go through a lot of pictures and make little corrections that are a big deal for instance like this picture this is a great picture but it has this this light in it it has this, this my, my boom in it and it's just not really appealing and sometimes models or agencies some they can't look past like little stuff like this so what you can do to make it a little bit more appealing uh, for your first go around show through is you can come over here let's say you're in the library just click develop and I go into a little bit more depth than some of the uh, other video other videos that I have uh, that I produce there on my website uh, the usuckerphotography.com and you can click here and I'm a little bit slower and a little bit more precise on those videos come down here and of course this is still going to be here but I can and I'll go ahead and show you how to knock that out also you can go here and this is your cloning tool or your heel tool make it bigger and all this is is knocking the shadow out so this picture will look a little bit better and it's it may or may not knock it completely out but that's not my objective my objective is just to make this picture look where they won't notice it as much or they'll be able to choose it just because of the picture and also let's see let's knock it out a little bit more all this is is simply I mean most of you guys have used Photoshop and all it is is part of the uh, it's like a cloning tool it actually is a cloning tool and I'm going to go ahead and knock the exposure down, even though I like to keep my pictures a little bit brighter because when I send them to the printer, they um, it just makes them look better. But that's because I know the printer that the uh, place where I go to uses, and I know how it prints. So, And even this, this is not a bad picture, but watch this. Just a little simple cropping. little simple cropping and this picture looks a whole hell of a lot better same here and you guys may be saying well why didn't you shoot the pictures um, like the way they should have been shot in the first place and we were doing a lot of big movement stuff during this photo shoot so I shot loose intentionally and that gave the model room to kind of run around and jump and just do all kinds of odd stuff that she was doing because this was specifically for kind of like um, her portfolio didn't have a lot of movement stuff in it and I really don't like this picture so I'm gonna just click delete and I'm not gonna delete it from the disk totally I'm gonna just remove it from my Lightroom file this one obvious delete so we click that look like she's praying doesn't she all right and I just keep going through them but I mean just quickly I mean some of my uh, new videos that I'm have on the website on you suck at photography dot com uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of my Lightroom going through Lightroom and I'm gonna show you some of the cropping uh, spot removal exposure white balance and some of the presets Lightroom have and all this is gonna help you out in the long run just to get you where you can call through these pictures really fast and I mean we all know in our business time is money so with that said guys hope you enjoy this little quick quick um, session on Lightroom and uh, remember check out my site you suck at photography thanks a lot guys